are so many great lipstick formulas at the drugstore. I practically couldn't decide what to put in this video today, but I'm bringing you what I have that I absolutely love, I use all the time, and I can't wait to share these lipstick formulas with you today. Hi friends, in honor of National Lipstick Day, I am bringing you all of the lipstick formulas at the drugstore that I think are fantastic. But I decided to not stop there because as I was looking through the sales and all the things that are happening, there are lip liners and lip glosses as well. So I'm bringing you a few lip gloss formulas that I love as well. Before we get into that video, I'm gonna put a timestamp right here where you can skip ahead to the actual reviews of all of these lip glosses, lipsticks, all the formulas. If you would like to skip over my intro because I do like to show my, my shirt my jewelry, that kind of stuff. So go to this timestamp right now if you want to skip over all of that. All right, let's start out with my shirt. And I am so in love with this shirt. I know I say that every time, but this time I am really liking this shirt for its being a t-shirt that has a little bit dressier of an element. It is very light t-shirt material. I love that about it, but it also has this keyhole with the tie right here that I think dresses it up. It also has the puff sleeves that dresses it up with the cuff, and then it has four buttons right here to match the color of the shirt. Of course, I pick up this color so often because I love it so much. Also, we always Always go over my earrings now I have to show you these these are so cute first of all on the front you have that paper clip design which is so in right now and then you have the little hoop right here so it gives it a little bit of extra dimension but this is the back of it and it's just a chain with the hoop on the bottom and I just think it elevates the look of these so much they are not heavy they are very light and I just really like the way that they hang and that they kind of have a little bit of dimension when you know you turn your head also I wanted to show you this lifetime jewelry necklace with this heart pendant that has rhinestones in it I first of all love this chain it's an 18 inch chain the chain by itself has so much detail in it and I love it but this is the jewelry that will not tarnish on you if it anything happens to it it has a lifetime guarantee on it and you can return it to the company and they will replace it I think this jewelry is really held to a higher standard and that's why I've been buying piece of it pieces of it here and there and I am in love with all of their stuff and as always all of my rings everything that I have on my face for makeup will all be listed and linked below in the description box. And speaking of links, we always talk about right here will come up a number. And I always throw up the number three because it's just easy for me to remember. Number three will correspond to the third product that I hold up in today's video. You don't have to remember what this, this product will be that I hold up. You just have to remember that you like number three. You don't have to remember the color of it or anything like that. Remember number three, jot it down, put it in the back of your mind, whatever you need to do, and then you can go into the description box and everything will be numbered one to however many however many products we get to today. And you can look for number three, next to it will be the description, the color, and the link, and you can shop that way if you would like to. I just realized that I didn't have most of my rings on to begin with, so now they're on. They will all be listed and linked below along with the nail polish. Let's start out with something that I talk about on my channel, constantly, which is the Maybelline lipsticks. They are my ride or die, my very favorite formula at the drugstore. I talk about these all the time and it's no surprise that I would put them first because they are that good. I have about 20 of them in my drawer, so I couldn't really swatch all of them, but I tried to pick out ones that I felt like might be a little bit different than what I've showed before. The first one is called Untamed Spice, Untainted Spice, excuse me. This has got kind of a little bit of a mauve in it, but it also has that brownish color in it and it's just really a nice color and I think coming on into fall, you're gonna love it. The next one is Pink Souffle. This is kind of a brightened pink, which I absolutely adore. I think it's so pretty. Any of these that you see that you really want to pick up, I think that they're going to be really good for you. This one is called Purely Nude. This is one that you would want to wear as your nude color when you were, you know, um, looking for something that you really wanted a nude lip and, you know, you did the liner that was a little bit darker. That is your nude. And that one 
is a little bit more of a matte formula. These other two are a little bit more of a satin cream formula. Another one that I absolutely adore is from Flower Beauty, and these are so good. I wear this one called Dahlia Desire all the time, and when I do, I get so many compliments on it because it's just this mixture of fuchsia and pink, and it's really bold, and it just really brings a lot of brightness to your lips. And because it's also got that blue base, when you smile, your teeth are gonna look whiter. So that is beautiful. And then this one is my nude pick that I go to for all, all the time. This one is called Naked Blush. I love this one because it does have the blush color in it. It's not quite that nude nude, but for me, it's a cool nude and I love it. And these are a little bit more on that I would say they're a little bit more on that matte satin side. So those are beautiful, I love those. The next formula that I absolutely love is from Revlon, and I had a hard time picking which one of these I was gonna pick. So I decided that I wasn't gonna pick, I was just gonna swatch them for you, but kinda swatch them quicker. So the first one is called Champagne on Ice. This one does have a little bit of that pearlescent look to it. And again, that is your nude color that I think is so pretty. One of my very favorites ever is called Berry Hot. This is a cream formula, but it, again, it's got that blue base and it's got just a little bit of the lilac color in it. This next one is called Pink in the Afternoon. This is one of my favorites because I feel like this is a cross between peach and pink and just about anybody can wear that one and then we have one called this is a, the next one is a matte formula and it's called make it pink this is from their matte line i like this one again for my particular nude when i'm going for a nude i like to look for a really pale pink or a pinky beige and this one is kind of a really pale pink and then the next one is bear it all so again we have this one for me is kind of a mid tone owned um, nude color and this one is so pretty this has um, a lot of the shine in it so when you go and you use it you could use it by itself definitely and it would give you that beautiful shine and pouty look to your lips because it has a lot of shine in it and then the last one is blushing mauve and this one i would say is more along the lines of my sort of a pink color my sort of a mauve color when you're just wanting that really true pink beautiful formula and i will say that although a lot of these are on sale at Ulta right now for National Lipstick Day, I feel like you can get them so much cheaper either on Amazon or on Walmart. So I'm going to link for you where the cheapest is that you can get it. Uh, what Ulta is having is they're having buy one, get one half off, which is pretty good. But when you look at it from the standpoint, if you just want to buy one, it's a little bit different that way. I'm going to break away just for a second out of the 10 lipsticks. I'm going to show you this lip, this lip liner right here from LA Girl. And these are the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Liners. And the reason I'm showing this to you is because one of them is the one that I am wearing today. The first one is just mauve. Um, it is definitely your bluish mauve. I love it. I wear that one all, all the time. The next one is called Rosewood, and it's a little bit darker than that one. Can you tell that I really like these mauve colors? Of course, they're what I go for all the time, but I do have the one that's called Chocolate on today with the pairing of the lipstick that I have on, and I love that to give that outline that is the shadow, and also this goes so good with so many of your nudes. Um, a little bit of dimension, a little bit of yumminess there, and so let me show you what I do have on. These are the L'Oreal Color Riche Original Formulas. They've repackaged them into this packaging that is a little bit more shiny. I have two of them. This first one is called, I can't tell what the first one's called. It's number 129, and I do love the color of it. It's a mauve color as well, but the second one that I have on is called, this one's called Tropical Coral, and I wanted to wear a coral today so that you could see that when you mix them with your lip liners, even though this might be a warm color, it still looks so good. I just loved this combo that I put on today, and I love this formula. It's every bit as beautiful and creamy and yummy as the Lord and the Revlon ones. I have a lot of Maybelline in here because I believe that Maybelline just does their lipsticks right. These are the Maybelline Matte Lip Ink and I just think that these are great because they're not too matte. They're not like that liquid matte 
formula that they have, liquid lipstick formula that they have. The first one is Seek Adventure. Um, sorry about that. I should have rubbed those off a little bit better. So this is Seek Adventure. What's nice about these is that you can line your lips with it and also have the ability to fill them in. So that's really great. And then this one is called Spoil Me. This next one is called Spoil Me. These are just gonna be kind of just different hues of the same pink because I do like their pinks and how they do their pinks. The last one is called Happy Birthday. And Happy Birthday has in it a little bit of shine. And I didn't realize that until I was not shine a little bit of glimmer in it um, and I didn't realize that until I was swatching all of these and I think these are so pretty they also have a, a sharpener on the other end which I think is great if you're wanting to do that lip lining that I was talking about so these are so pretty such a great formula not super matte but matte enough that they do stay longer than your average cream lipstick the number six lipstick formula at the drugstore that I absolutely love are the actual lip stains from Revlon on and I think these are amazing this is a super thin formula so if you're somebody that wears a mask and you you know you have that on all day at work or whatever you might really love this the first one is called silky sienna and I didn't think I would like that but that is kind of a darkened nude color and it's going to be so beautiful for fall on anybody I think that's so pretty so this is super thin and yet super saturated and that's what I love about it the next one is called speak up I I have the hardest time seeing these because my vision is not the best down there. So this one is called Speak Up. What I love about these, you could put a lip gloss over them if you want to, but they're comfortable enough to wear on their own if you need something to last all day long. The last one's called Your Go-To. I didn't think I would like this one. This is kind of a very uh, neutral brown color, almost on the side of a top taupe brown excuse me and I didn't think I would like that but I love wearing that color and I love wearing it with a bright pink liner or a berry liner so pretty so this formula will dry down and you will have that stain on there all day long I just think that these are exceptional as far as what they were going for and that it's a comfortable liquid lip so it's a satin without being just you know sucking the life out of your lips and making you look older I love those number seven going back to Maybelline this is their vinyl lipstick and I really didn't like these when I very first picked them up but these are a really unique formula that I have been wearing non-stop for the past little while the first one is called unrivaled and what you're gonna find when you first pick this up is that the formula again is super thin but it goes on really nicely super saturated like the Revlon ones however these have a little bit more um, moisture to them than the other the Revlon do. They really are a little bit more hydrating. This one is called peachy. I don't feel like this one is very peachy. I feel like it's more of a nude your lips but better color. For me peach is kind of a brighter color but it's really a pretty color as far as just a mid-tone nude. And then the last one this one is called koi. And I've been wearing this koi one for days and days and I am in love with it. Of course it it is again that lilac undertone with the pink and I think they're so pretty. Now, I'll tell you one thing that you might have to get used to. It's a little bit different. They are a little bit tacky when you put them on. So you're gonna feel like your lips are sticking together a little bit for the first little while, like maybe the first hour or so. But as they dry down, they don't dry out as they dry down is what I'm trying to say. And they don't feel glossy, so you don't have gloss on, but you definitely have the moisture there. So your lips look very full and very hydrated at the same time of still having that color on your lips for hours and hours. The next one that I'm gonna show you is from Wet n Wild. Wild. These can be a little bit harder to find, but I find all of mine on Amazon and they also do have a lot of these at Walgreens and CVS. Now, some of you might start saying that's a lip gloss, that's not a lipstick. However, they do classify this as a, lip, a lipstick. This is the makeup 
Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. The first one is Caught You Bare Naked. This is probably the most nude one that I have in all of these. Now, I love this formula because it is super opaque. It is the most opaque gloss formula that I have found at the drugstore. I love it. This next one is called Flirt Alert, and it is absolutely beautiful as well. I really hope that Wet n Wild does not do away with these because I don't think they've gotten enough love on social media. If you're somebody that likes a gloss, but you like to have color, they're so pretty. And then the next one is called Chick Got Real. And of course, this is my lilac pink color that I absolutely love. Now you can see how saturated they all are. They're so pretty and they're so nice. And I have loved these forever. And I really should go get some more backups and maybe put them in my fridge because I have a feeling that they are going to start doing away with these. But this is such a good formula. So much better than the Catsuit Matte Formula. I just, I am in love with these. I have been for a really long time. The next one that I want to show you is one that I really didn't like when I first got it. But once I tried this and I kind of wore it for a while, it really grew on me. This one is called Cash Flow. So this is the dual sided where you have the liquid lip on one side. And then on the other side, you have the actual lip gloss. Now I'm going to have to let that set down for a minute. Okay, so I think it's probably not set down all the way, but I'm going to go ahead and put the lip gloss on top of it. It just is such a pretty formula. And then that bottom part or the liquid part is going to stay on all day while the liquid, while the lip gloss might, you know, wear off, but you can put that back on during the day. It's so pretty. And I actually am going to go pick up more of these, but they really stumbled onto something different here because the lip gloss can come off, but that color is gonna stay on there, and that's what I like about it. Number 10, let's jump back to Maybelline. They have the best stuff. If you're somebody that really does like a matte formula, this might be for you because it's matte, but it doesn't like suck the life out of your lips again and make you look older. This is their ultimate formula. This is their stick formula. I have one and more mauve, of course I do. That's gonna be the color that you guys have seen so much. That is the color that is my color that I wear, color that matches my top. I love these, they're creamy. Um, and yet they're not drying, which I love as well. The next one is called More Buff. And so it is going to be that one that is kind of just, oh gosh, it's kind of a pinky nude color, mid-tone pinky nude. I really think this one is beautiful. I've actually had more blonde as well, and that is your true nude color. So if you're looking for one that is truly nude, you might really, you know, take a look at that. So these are beautiful, love them. They last a lot longer even than these pencils do. Um, so, you know, take a look at these. If you haven't liked the pencils for longevity, you might really like these. Now I wanna show you something because I'm wiping off my hands so I can do the next layer. Take a look at that NYX. It's still on there. I just wiped everything off, including the lip gloss that was on top of that. But there's NYX, it's sticking around. All right, we're gonna go next into my other lip liner pick for this. There's lots of lip liners that I love, but I wanted to showcase these because they're the ones that I probably love the most. This is the Maybelline Color Stay. These are color sensational, excuse me. This first one is in Gone Grage. This is the one that I reach for and I wear probably the most because it does give me that extra outline right there where it's a shadow. Love Gone Grage. It's one of those ones that's so good. And again, you have the sharpener on the other side if you do like that. And then the next one is called Beige Babe. This is definitely one that you, you'd have to really love your nudes to wear that one. I like that one when I'm not self tanning. This is a little bit light for me in the summertime. And then this one is called Raw Chocolate. I've really gotten into trying some chocolates lately because I feel like they also give you that beautiful shadow that you need when you're outlining your lips a little bit bigger than what they actually are. And that one goes so good with pinks or peaches, whichever one that you choose. And then this one is called Dusty Rose. And Dusty Rose is one of those ones that just goes so good with any pinks that you choose. If you're just looking for a monochrome color, that Dusty Rose goes so good with that. This formula is really creamy as well. Now I'm going to show you just a few of the lip gloss formulas. And these are going to be no surprise to you whatsoever 
whatsoever because I wear these all the time. Maybe one of them will be. The Maybelline Lifter Glosses, I'm always talking about my two favorites, which are Pearl and Moon. Now I want to show you, this one is called Crystal. And this is the latest edition. And I am so into a gold lipstick or lip gloss on top of my pink or my lilac lip glosses because it just seems to really catch that light. And I just have been absolutely in love with that. These are pillowy. They're non-sticky. These are so many people's ride or die ones at the drugstore. And they are, they absolutely mimic the Fenty gloss bombs. I love those too, but these are just so much like them. And you can get a couple of them for the same price that you would get a Fenty one. So you can choose a couple of colors. The other one that I talk about on my channel all the time is the Milani Keep It Full. And I have several colors. I will swatch for you the nude shimmer one. This is probably the one that I wear the most out of them. And then I will also swatch for you this Tropical Shine one that I have that I absolutely love. Tropical Shine has got that um, kind of a little bit of a peach cast to it. So it's super brightening on top of anything that you want to wear. And I love that too. I've been really enjoying that for summer. These are the plumping formula. So if you're into that little bit of cooling, like the buxom glosses, you're really going to love these. Speaking of the plumping glosses, I have two of the new infallible pro gloss pl plump from L'Oreal. These are probably not really new. The first one that I have is called Lucid Glow. Again, these are just kind of, they're kind of just a gloss, but this formula right here, it's really super long lasting. It really is long wearing. The other one that I have is called Nude Twinkle. Both of these have that little bit of shimmer in it that I've been talking about, but both of these again have that that cooling feel or that feeling of the buxom glosses on it and they are so nice i absolutely love this formula i also like the eight hour pro glow formula that they have that one is probably my favorite even more than this but this is a beautiful plumping formula that's fairly new before i do send you off today i want to leave you with uh, some swatches of ones that i absolutely love that are on sale during this sale for national lipstick day and they're from buxom now now, if you haven't tried these lipsticks, I think that they run about $12 on sale right now. And they're amazing. Truly, truly amazing. If you like the Buxom lip glosses with that cooling effect, that's what these do. And they are such a very nourishing formula. I love these so much. Now, I this is my favorite one. And you're going to, of course, know why. It's the color of my shirt. It's called Badass. Excuse me for swearing. But that is what the color of it's called. That color is so flattering. I get so many comp compliments on it when I wear it. The next one is called Goddess. And this is your true nude one. So pretty. It's just got that beautiful nude look to it. Now, please keep in mind that these are a very creamy formula. This one is called Triple Threat. I feel like this is one that has a lot of warmth in it. I like it a lot. And if you're, you're somebody that leans neutral warm, you might absolutely adore it because it's like that really deepened nude color. The next one is one that you have to be pretty fierce if you're going to wear it. And it's called Gladiator. I love it, but I have to be in a mood to wear it because it is that deepened purple, just a beautiful color, but it's super bright. So you have to be in a very fierce mood to wear it, I feel like. The next one is called Dolly Dreamer. Dolly Dreamer is one that I wear all the time because it just goes with so much. And these are beyond beautiful lipsticks. And I definitely wanted to mention them to you here because they are ones that I reach for all the time. And I think that they are a special formula. And I think that lots of people would really love these and they're on sale right now. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned them. Now, I know that I could have made this video like three hours long and it's probably probably pretty long already all by itself right now. But tell me in the comment section what your favorite drugstore lippy is or your favorite lippy of all time. I don't care if it's drugstore because I'm always looking for different things to try. So tell me in the comment section what you think. Thanks guys so much for being with me today. Right now I'm going to put up on the screen right here. I'm going to put up a video where I showed you how to overline your pout and how to fake lip filler. That's a video that I think a lot of you might be interested in. So go over and take a peek at it right now. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. Love everybody so much. Mwah! Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Mm -hmm.